Looking back through aviation's history, communication has always been critical to safety. As years passed, technology steadily improved the detail, efficiency, and precision of information being shared throughout the National Airspace System, or NAS. Now, as we enter aviation's digital age, information sharing is being improved by SWIM, system-wide information management, one of the key transformational NextGen programs. NextGen is the FAA's modernization effort aimed at uh, increasing NAS capacity and providing more and better routing options for all the airspace users. Now the way that SWIM operates within that is that it provides the information access that's going to give us more collaboration between the FAA and the airspace users and the system therefore works much more efficiently and effectively for everybody. SWIM is all about making information available to the people who need it. Someone in the FAA or outside probably doesn't know all the different types of information that various people in the FAA have. So the purpose of SWIM is to make it easy for folks like that to know what information is available, who has it, and how they can access it. Imagine SWIM as a TV guide channel. Instead of sports and reality TV, you have information such as airspace status, weather, and flight management to choose from. Just as you can record only the shows you want to see, you can customize SWIM to receive just the information you want when you want it. Right, it's like my Yahoo where you tell them, okay, I want to know about health care, I want to know about Britney Spears, I know, want to know about the Dallas Cowboys, but I don't want to know about anything else. And that's what you'll get. So the idea is that um, the more people know about the status of the system at large, the, the better they can do in planning. Pretty similar to the way in which it would benefit you as a traveler in your automobile moving from one city to another. You'd want to know not only the local conditions where you are, but what are the weather conditions on the way. The more of that information you can get, the better you can pack, the better you can plan, the better you can schedule what you're going to do when you're there, and the better you can figure out what return route or in fact cancel and reschedule altogether. Those, those same things apply to airspace users when they're looking at how best to get from point A to point B. SWIM leads to more stable performance and reduced delays because of what users get out of the system, greater common situational awareness. It also allows users to save time and money in the way that they put information into the system. Every FAA system is sharing information with not only other FAA systems but also folks outside the NAS like other government agencies and airlines, air cargo, uh, et cetera. All of those interfaces in the past have been developed on a case-by-case -case basis. They're all basically unique. The issue is that if you look at NextGen and the additional information sharing that needs to happen to make NextGen work, you end up with this kind of ball of yarn of all these unique, customized, point-to-point -point interfaces what we're trying to do with SWIM is to apply some common IT industry standards across all those interfaces so that once someone develops a standard interface for their information, they won't have to redevelop it for every subsequent user who wants that information. To test SWIM out, a few programs were recently tapped to create a SWIM compliant prototype of their services. One of these systems was the ITWIS program the integrated terminal weather system which provides actual and forecasted terminal weather information. What the IWAS developers have told me is that it's actually been faster and cheaper to develop their interfaces the swim way as opposed to the old point-to-point -point customized interfaces that they've been developing in the past. After we focused on what the users really wanted, we went about defining what would go into the SWIM version of ITWIS and we started learning what would make it SWIM compliant and we just rolled up our sleeves and got to work. Amazingly, in about half the time we needed, all three developers had something running in about a week and a half. We saved 19 percent in terms of costs and lines of code based on the fact 
that we uh, emphasized reuse as much as we did. Stakeholders can now b benefit from that by not having to relearn the technology that we already know. They don't have to hire developers to transform this data, which is already done for them, and it's incorporated into systems that they already have. So there will be a lot of common situational awareness for the stakeholders. With the ITWIS test a success, SWIM is ready for efficient and cost-effective information sharing. SWIM is going to take data from these multiple silos of information that we have and incorporate them all so that everyone in industry and government has the same access to the data that was once unobtainable. It will really be a significant breakthrough. I don't think anyone predicted it would be that easy. The ability to exchange information is going to be greatly enhanced. It'll be much faster to develop, uh, much easier to use. And it's really the best way for us to achieve what we want to do in next gen.